So now that we have created uh, the symbols and also the symbol list we need for our strategy, for the DAO strategy and the hedge strategy, um, we actually get to the fun part, which is creating our new and first strategy from scratch. For that, um, go into Portfolio Manager. The Portfolio Manager is um, the central place where you basically set up and also modify the strategy, which means um, which components the strategy should contain. Um, you can also set up um, certain parameters, um, settings for the strategy, but also on the individual component uh, level. Um, and you can also modify the way the backtest um, is presented to you. Um, a strategy itself um, has a creation date and a modification date. Uh, this is just to, um, for information purposes. Um, if you click a strategy to be used as a substrategy, uh, it will show up in gray, uh, light gray in the backtest. So you can keep your main strategies and the substrategies um, separated visually. Um, and you have also the option to disable a strategy um, so it doesn't appear in the list anymore. For strategy, you can also choose to have a currency conversion um, ETF. Um, this is nothing we're going to use now, um, but uh, we show that in a further advanced um, uh, uh, tutorial. You can also give a short name to the strategy, um, then uh, this is just for housekeeping purposes again, um, nothing we're going to do now. So um, we're going to create a new strategy, which uh, for that just click new. We're going to call this DAO strategy. And we're going to give it a short description. Um, pick top four ranked symbols out of 30 tickers. And now what we're going to need is um, two different things. Um, we need the Dow Jones list which we just created. So you mark that and say add. And we're also going to need um, some benchmark tickers. For that, I'm going to select the S&P. I'm going to select TLT, which is the 20 years uh, treasury bonds. And I'm going to select the ticker which we just set up, which is DIA. Um, so the components of that strategy again is the Dow Jones list. Lists are marked with that dollar sign, SPY, TLT, and DIA. Next, we want to set up the settings for the strategy or for the graphs. For that, um, you normally just need to um, use the default settings, click Add. And now you're getting three different uh, views here in this tree, performance curves, allocations, and portfolio. Um, most important um, normally would be the portfolio, which is um, showing you and allowing you to modify the components of the strategy. Um, in this case, the actual components are only the uh, tickers we have in the Dow Jones list. Um, so we're going to unmark SPY, TLT, and DIA. And um, I'm getting an error here because I have to select um, SR um, to be able to only have uh, one list or one component here. Um, the other things you can try out, um, this is rather for uh, the visual um, aspect of the um, backtest window, the components to be shown in the upper uh, window. We're going to have a look at that. Um, the height of the um, allocations window. Um, this is something which um, I think you can try out and find out by yourself. 
what else um, strategy to set up the strategy parameters um, we have two base type of um, strategies one is called rebalancing and the other one is actually a special algorithm with it for an institutional um, customer feel free to use it um, but basically all of our strategies are based on the rebalancing type benchmark symbols um, here we're going to use dia and then feel free either to use a bond or um, spy for example um, let's use spy here trading type um, standard is long you also have the option to do a short strategy where you for example would short the lowest performing uh, tickers out of a simple list um, as a hedge strategy but this is uh, also something we're going to do in a further advanced tutorial so for the time, time being select short allocation step size um, currently two options either the allocation will be in 5% steps or in 10% steps. Um, out of experience, 5% steps does not make a lot of sense. It does not give you more accuracy or better performance. Um, what we have seen so far, 10% is much better and uh, is normally the way to go. Parameters, you can set up here all strategy parameters, um, but you can also do that in the backtest window, and um, this is what we're going to um, do this time. Um, so here just uh, leave them in default. Um, again, I have to use SR here because I'm only using one component, which is the Dow Jones list. Other than that, just click on save. And you basically have now set up your first strategy being Dow Jones <clears throat> and um, we quit here.